What's good, y'all? It's your boy Dower the Kid back in the cut with another banger. Today I'm here with my first tutorial. Uh, I'm not a tutorial channel, so this might be my only tutorial. But if y'all ever heard of something called Shadow Gaming, Shadow Gaming is a program where you can basically stream a $2,000 gaming PC to your PC or whatever other device you decide to use it on, and you can play from it. And it's like pretty much lagless. Like you can't even tell that you're playing on a remote desktop off somewhere while playing on it. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. The thing we're here to talk about is a lot of people think that you can't use the Shadow program on your computer without having... Like if you want to use a controller without having it plugged directly into the controller for the USB slot, but that's actually not true. I actually found out that you can indeed use Shadow with a Bluetooth controller, and I'm gonna show y'all how. They try to say you need to get the Shadow Ghost to even be able to do that, but as long as you have a PC that's Bluetooth enabled, you can do it, and I'm gonna show y'all how. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so y'all see my desktop in the back. So first of all, you need to go online and download a program called Input Mapper. The program is right here, Input Mapper. It's not hard to download at all. You literally just type in Input Mapper on Google, and you get it from, I think it's GitHub website. But yeah, you literally get it from, just type it in on Google, you'll find it. Anyway, once you get that, I'm going to show you the steps to connect your controller to your computer. So you go to your Bluetooth settings. Now, first of all, you got to look up how to put your controller into Bluetooth mode. For a PS4 controller, you hold the share button and the power button at the same time until it starts blinking. So eventually the controller will start blinking. I don't even know if it shows up on the camera, but the controller will start blinking. So once it starts blinking, you go to add Bluetooth or other device, Bluetooth, and wait for it to pop up. All right, so it popped up, wireless controller input, bow, you click it, connect it. All right, so when it says it's ready to go, you click done, you exit out of that. Now you then open input mapper. And you turn your controller on like you would turn on a regular controller for PS4. So once this pops up, your controller is just connected. I think this little symbol up above the controller means it's connected through Bluetooth, not wired. You keep on hearing the little beeps, ignore those. <laughs> anyway, your controller's on like a re like it regularly would be if it was connected to a PS4. Now, my light is blue. It's light blue because I customized my light. You can On Input Mapper, you can change what color your light is when the battery's full to when it's dead. So mine goes from like a light blue to like a red when it's dying. You can make this thing green. I think, I think it starts out green. You can make it yellow. You can make it purple. You can make whatever color you want to. Stop beeping. <laughs> but anyway, once you're connected to Input Mapper on your main computer, you then open Shadow. Oh yeah, so do this before you open Shadow. Don't open Shadow before because what it's gonna do, and it won't do it on mine because it's already done, but I'll show you real quick. For those of y'all who don't have Shadow, y'all don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Y'all YouTube that, you know what I'm saying? You look in the Shadow and you get the full details on it. But for those who already have Shadow and know what the hell I'm talking about, it's for you. So this is my Shadow Gaming PC, right? So anyway, if you do the, these steps correctly, connect your uh, Bluetooth controller to your PC and then to your input mapper and then open Shadow, Shadow should automatically download your controller drivers. It should automatically just start. If it doesn't, then quit Shadow and like, if you know how to shut down your Shadow, restart it, whatever, do that and repeat the process until it does. It should just automatically download the drivers. By the way, if that process of installing the controller driver still didn't work, then try connecting your controller by USB and enabling your USB over IP in your Shadow Launcher. And then it should install your controller drivers that way because it detects your controller directly plugged in. So after it automatically downloads the drivers, which once again, mine isn't gonna do because it's already done. Your controller should be connected through your input map on your main PC, but it should work on here. Now, to, just to test if it works, I'm moving my stuff around. I don't know how I got there specifically, but you see I'm moving it up and down. But that might not be enough proof, y'all, so I'm going to go even farther. So I'm do some Dark Souls real quick. All right, Dark Souls is loading up. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and keep the shadow window you know, in a window, just to prove to y'all that I am doing, damn, that was loud as hell, <laughs> just to prove to y'all that I am doing this on the Shadow PC, I don't want y'all thinking this is some trick, this is some clickbait, I'm doing this by some other method, no, I am on my Shadow PC playing this, and y'all can tell because it's window, look, it's it's in the Shadow window, hold on, my mic is undocked, not mic, but my mouse, 
This is me, look. R1. R1 twice. Okay, I'm moving around. Playing Dark Souls on my Shadow PC with a wireless Bluetooth connected controller. And just to prove to y'all that it's me. Well, is there a way to prove to y'all that it's me? My save file. Look, Die with a Kid. Look, that's me. <laughs> this is my. This is what I go by on YouTube. Die with a Kid. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Die with a Kid back in the cut with another banger. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know it's me, so y'all can tell that I'm serious. Anyway, y'all. Uh, I mean, and by the way, Shadow, I'm going to full screen it real quick. I don't know if my OBS is going to record it. But I got it full screen on this screen right here. We still running around. We still smooth. Playing on the shadow with a controller. I am not a PC gamer. I am mostly a console gamer. I just have a PC. So naturally, I like to play with controllers. I do not know how to play this damn game with keyboard and mouse. So don't ever don't think that I'm trying to trick y'all. I'm really going to play with keyboard and mouse on the shadow. Like, this is legit. Real quick part that I forgot to say, y'all. So uh, in order to ensure that it works with Steam games, because I have Dark Souls 3 on Steam. Uh, first of all, what you want to do is you want to go into Steam, right? Go to Settings. Controller, general controller settings. It'll, it should activate big picture mode. And when this brings up, you want to enable PlayStation configuration support, Xbox configuration support, Switch Pro configuration support, and generic game pack configuration support. What that does is it makes it so that Steam recognizes whatever controller you may have plugged in so that you can use it with the Steam games. Because if you don't check these, you might run into some problems. It could possibly still work without checking these, but it was a couple times where it did, a couple times where it didn't for me. But once I check these, it always works every single time. So do that. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is the proof that you can indeed use a Bluetooth connected controller on your main device to play on your Shadow PC without buying a Shadow Ghost, which is $115, which I'm thinking about getting anyway, maybe eventually. But right now, I don't got one. I don't, don't want to spend $115 to get one, and I really don't need it now that I know that you can use a Bluetooth device and don't have to connect a USB thing because, you know, Shadow has USB over IP uh, recognition, but you don't got to use that. Get a blue, get a PS4 or an Xbox One controller, and you good, baby. Anyway, uh, this has been my first tutorial. Quite unprofessional, as you can tell, but... You got the job done, man. Hopefully this helps a lot of y'all out there. It's your first time to make it your last time. Hit the subscribe button down below. If you like the video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know why in the comments. I'm always down to hear some constructive criticism. This is Dower the Kid signing out. Peace.